going to enjoy the show. These, I can tell by the enthusiasm backstage. I know you're going to enjoy these people. I want you to relax, have fun, and I only want you to be critical of me, not of the performers that you're going to see. Please, be critical of me, okay? I should be good because I've been doing it for 65 years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to get down to the serious business. <laughs> Princess Dracula!
Robert Ripley is not alive. Person. 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 
Dr. Beers studied for 11 years with Tiny Tim. Anyway. <laughs> continues that way, I expect an egg. <laughs> We're in now for a very, very wonderful treat. Look <laughs> at somebody's daughter, what can we say? <laughs> no, please, I want you to be serious, be compassionate. <laughs> Remember, there may be something wrong with your genetic chain. <laughs> All those who have perfect chromosomes don't belong here. <laughs>
Well, we brought Miss Wiener here especially for you because we wanted you to take notice of her enunciation, pronunciation, and uh, she studied 11 years. She studied voice and diction with Arnold Stein and Elmer <laughs> Fudd. That act would improve 50% if I could understand it. I can't understand it. <laughs> You understood her? The man raising your hand? He wanted to know where the men's room is. I don't know what he asked you. He asked you. He raised his hand. Yeah. That's a match. That's a match. Before we had a female chicken, now we got a male chicken. I won't stay here. For your pleasure, we have a comedy theme here. And this is not allegedly a comedy thing. This is a bona fide, genuine, hilarious comedy theme. And I'm a liar, anyway. Right. <laughs> no, really. Really. Relax, sit back, and enjoy. Book and Martino. Yeah! Uh, in honor of the MC who's doing a great job, Al Lutz. He's doing. Isn't he doing a great job? Yeah. Time. This is a great job, and I invited a special guest who happens to be uh, a distant relative of Grandpa Munster, right? And uh, I think he made it with the princess before backstage, but I'm not too sure. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the original Count Dracula, the original. Here he is. The original. Well, good evening, Mr. Dracula. Thank you very much, but you can call me Count. It's an honor to have you here, because, uh, you know, we hear a lot about Dracula from the movies and from the books and from television, but why don't you take this opportunity and tell this enthusiastic crowd what, what you're really like. Not at all, the villain they portray me to be in the movie. What? Oh, you're not, you mean uh, you don't go around biting people in the neck? Certainly not. All that blood is back in my throat. I am a singer. La, 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 la. Oh, isn't that interesting to see? A college student should learn something new every day. I didn't know Count Dracula was a singer. Yeah. Yes, yes. Hey, well, why don't you, I'll tell you what, since they got nowhere else to go, why don't you give us a sample of the songs that you sing? Certainly, it would be my pleasure. Ah. Be quiet or I'll bite you all and send you to Transylvania in a box. Look. Well, come on, let's let's make this fast. Let's hear one of your songs. It's called Frankenstein. Oh, my, oh, my doctor. Oh, my doctor. Oh, my doctor, Frankenstein. Drown him out, drown him out. Bite you all and send you to Transylvania in a box. Look. Let's hear one of your songs. It's called Frankenstein. Oh, my doctor. Oh, my doctor. Oh, my doctor, Frankenstein. Drown him out, drown him out. You have gone and made a monster. You mean Frankenstein. Hey! Can't catch a tune. Come on, everybody. Oh, my doctor. Oh, my doctor. Come on, oh, my doctor. It's the Vegas act. Semi-good, you know? It was an experiment. We tried something different. But backstage, now what we did was a Dracula bit. Tell them what happened. Well, what we did was a Dracula bit, and I'm going to tell you what happened. See, there was another performer in the show who did a very serious version of how Dracula. No, no, no laughing matter. The way he really was. Anyway, to get to the point, we get off stage after doing our comical version of Count Dracula. And she tries to attack him. She was offended and she slapped me on the wrist. And she tried to put a stake through his heart. But I told her I liked it medium rare and she took the stake away. Madam, so nobody got hurt, so. Everything is. Pleasure or right, let's shake on it. Uh, Thanks a lot. Listen, we, we tried our best. Let's shake on it. <laughs> is uh, something I have never seen before.
No, I, I, what I mean by that is that I have seen male gender do this act. And so I, like you, are looking forward to enthusiastically to de yeah. the female Elvis. to reminisce back to a time when a certain king ruled rock and roll. Now, I might not have big broad shoulders or a hairy chest, but I think you'll all agree when I said He apparently scaled the Dakota and broke into Yoko Ono's apartment and just had a grand old time there. Coco and Penny!
mother, Coco. Hello. What are you, what are you doing? Quiet, Penny. I'm practicing my exercises. Exercises? Yeah, I was watching Dr. Ruth, and she said you could do them anywhere. No, what are you doing? <laughs> Relax, kid. I was just fixing my bra. Mother, this is a very nice audience. They could read you like a book. Oh, then they know on the inside I'm a joy of sex. <laughs> Well, we've uh, worked in the Metropolitan Comedy Club circuit, Catch Rise of the Star, the Improv, Danger Fields, the uh, Clubs on the Island, the Governors, <laughs> the Comedy Stop at the Trop in Atlantic West. City. It's very nice to have a nice spot over there, and uh, some TV things. Right. We had a little spot on Late Night with Letterman, our magazine, magazine with Barry Collins. Collins. Right. And of course, Joe Franklin, our friend. Right. Plan. Joe Franklin, of course. Just tell us what you did today. Well, I went into the church without my shirt on. What happened? Well, a guy came by and he said, you can't come in here like that. So I told him, I have a divine right. And then what did he say? He said, you have a divine left, too. <laughs> if there's a wrong way to do it. You don't even die.
trivia question. What was that? <laughs> Chairman Steve, the Pope. 
Hey, wait, let me just get I gotta, I gotta think what kind you want. Something funny, amusing. Um, wait a minute, I'm trying to remember that point. Okay. Um, wait a minute. Uh, okay. Next president we select, Nancy will be the one to elect. Yeah! Yeah, yeah buddy! Pick a winner! I meet a pretty girl, and here is how it goes. I'm caught with my finger in my nose. Though she, though she is a sweeter one than sugar, all over my fingers is a burger. I walk, I walk alone back out the gate. I cannot get my act quite straight. 